A box weighs six and three eighths pounds and a bag weighs two and one eighth pounds. What is the total weight of the box and the bag? So again, you're looking for the keywords. What is the total? When you see something like, what is the total? It means you're adding everything together. We know how much the bag weighs. We know how much the box weighs. Let's go ahead and add them together. So what we have is the box weighs six and three eighths pounds and the bag weighs two and one eighths pounds, right? So we're adding these. Now remember there's two ways to add mixed numbers. Now we'll just use the easier way here, I think. And when we're adding them, what we'll do is we'll say six plus two uh, is eight. That's the first part because we add the whole numbers. And then for the second part, we'll have three eighths plus one eighth. We have a common denominator here. So we just keep that common denominator already. Three plus one would then give us four. And then in order to simplify four eighths, we divide by four and divide by four. And so the final guy here is gonna be four divided by four is one, eight divided by four is two. So this is one half. So we add the whole numbers together and we get eight. We add the fractions together and we get one half. So the final answer here is gonna be eight and one half. So the answer is eight and one half pounds. It's the final answer. Okay, now the next problem says that Jack gets two, I'm sorry, four and uh, two sevenths gallons of milk and Jill gets three and a half gallons. How much do they have all together? Again, the keyword, all together. How much do they have all together? We have to add these mixed numbers together. So what we'll do is we'll say we have four and two sevenths, that's what Jack has, and we're adding to that what Jill has, which is three and one half, all right? So we wanna add these together. So as we said before, there are a couple ways to do it. We're gonna add the whole numbers together first. So let's do that, four plus three, that's the whole numbers, so seven. So we know we have at least seven gallons. Now we need to add the fractions together. So here what we're going to do is we have two sevenths and we're adding to that one half. Now we need a common denominator, we don't have a common denominator. We look at seven and two, immediately 14 pops in my head. That's the smallest thing I can think of that both of these will divide into. And so basically I take the two sevenths, how would I transform that to 14 on the bottom? Multiply by two, multiply by two, I will get four over 14. All right, now let's go ahead and transform the one half. So we have one half, how do I transform that to 14 on the bottom? I multiply by seven and seven. And so on the top, I will have seven. On the bottom, I will have uh, 14, All right? And I'm adding these guys together. So because I'm adding them, I look and I see I have a common denominator of 14. I keep that on the bottom. And then seven plus four is 11. So the answer I get is 11 fourteenths. So when I add the fractional parts together, I get 11 fourteenths. That can't be simplified anymore. When I add the whole numbers, I get seven. So the entire answer is seven and 11 fourteenths. That is the final answer. And there's nothing else that I can do there. I can't simplify that any further. So word problems is really just a skill where you need to read the problem, understand what the numbers are that are important, understand what you're being asked. When you're adding things, you're looking for things like how many in all, how many all together, um, what did they do combined? What is the total? Words like that mean you're adding things together. So the last question we have is, I have one and six sevenths blocks of cheese and Dan has two and 11 fourteenths blocks of cheese. How much cheese do we have all together? Remember, all together, that's your keyword that you're adding these things together. So I have one and six sevenths blocks of cheese and Dan has two and 11 fourteenths blocks of cheese and I'm adding these together, right? So because they're mixed numbers, I'm going to add the whole numbers first. I'll just do that to the side. One plus two is three. That's not rocket science, that's three. But now we need to deal with the fractions. I end up having six sevenths and then I have 11 fourteenths. And I want to add them, but I don't have a common denominator. So what I do, is I look and say, well, what can I do to make these a common denominator? I notice that seven times two is 14, so I can just change this first fraction like this. I'll just change it by multiplying the top and the bottom by two, and that will give me six times two is 12 over 14. This fraction I don't have to change at all because it already has 14 in the bottom, and now I can add these guys together. And when I do that, because I have a 14 in the top and the bottom, there it is. 
And then 12 plus 11, you can just add the columns. 2 plus 1 is 3. 1 plus 1 is 2. You get 23 over 14. 23 over 14. Now the question is, normally what you would do is you'd say you have 3 for the whole numbers and you have 23 14 But this fraction that we got here actually is improper. It's improper. So how do we convert this back into a regular fraction? Well, how many times will 14 go into 23? It's only going to go one time because 14 times 2 is actually 28. And that's too high. So it's only going to go one time. What's the remainder? 23 minus 14. 23 minus 14 is going to be 9. And if you do that, you'll see that you have 9, and then you'll have over 14. So it goes one time with the remainder of 9, because 23 minus uh, 14, and over 14. So this is the mixed number that comes from here. So what we have at the end of the day is we have the whole numbers that we add together, we got a 3. The fractions we add together, we get this. So to get the final answer, what you basically are doing is you're saying 3 from this plus 1 and 9 fourteenths. And the whole numbers can just be added together, 4 and 9 fourteenths. That is the final answer, 4 and 9 fourteenths blocks of cheese. So if I have 1 and 6 sevenths block of cheese and somebody else has 2 and 11 fourteenths blocks of cheese, altogether we have 4 complete blocks of cheese plus 9 fourteenths of another of another block of cheese